Hello and welcome back to Resin With Me everyone. I'm Brandy in case you didn't know yet. Um, so for today's video I wanted to do something similar to my last video and if you saw that it was these very pretty um, I guess like glam glamorous uh, gold and black coasters. I was very very happy with how they turned out. I love them. Um, but I wanted to try some other colors. So I did try some pink ones and I loved how they turned out, but I tried a new resin. I just, you know, bought a couple of new resins just to, to test, always, you know, wanting to try new products. And it had a very, very long curing time. Um, and so I ended up stacking them t together too soon and they all <laughs> stuck together. I could not get them apart, so I just tossed those, sadly, even though I loved them. Um, and I'm gonna try again with some purple this time. So the first step is to uh, make our base color, which I like for it to be a very pale uh, color of whatever I'm doing. So for the pink ones, I did a very, very pale pink. And for today, I'm gonna to do a very, very pale purple. So I am first mixing up some white uh, cast and craft paste. And I've got some, it's called dark purple, but it's really, I don't think it's very dark. I don't know, I guess maybe in the camera, it's, it looks darker in the camera than it does in person. So I'm just gonna mix this up and I do have my fan, my little you know portable fan over here. So if it's a little noisy, if you hear some background noise, that is why it is just unbearably hot in Austin right now. It was over a hundred degrees today, and the apartment just struggles a little to to cool down when it's so hot. So I have to have it on. I have to have this fan. Otherwise, I will be dripping sweat with, you know, the, the ring lights right here, too. So I've got some purple powder that I'm just going to mix in until I get a really pale purple that I'm happy with. And I will go ahead and um, fast forward. You don't need to watch me mix all of this. I will say, though, uh, before I fast forward, that... You know, these videos are for you all too, not just for me learning, but you know, if anyone is watching these as an actual tutorial, I want you to be able to learn. And if you want to recreate one of my projects, I want you to be able to see what I'm actually doing. So I try to find a balance between not boring you to death <laughs> and, uh, you know, still showing what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. Basically, I'm just trying to say that if I'm ever <laughs> just going way too slow or I'm going way too quickly, you know, feel free to let me know so that I can make sure I'm providing you all with, with good content. And that's actually, um, again, it looks darker in the camera, but it's a very pale purple. That's actually exactly what I wanted, so I'm glad I got that kind of first try. And I think it's ready to, to pour, so... Um, yeah, I did not fast forward you all, so <laughs> didn't need to this time, but we'll go ahead and pour this. It is um, 10 ounces of resin. I'm sorry, no, 11. That's right, I added one on accident. Uh, so it's 11 ounces of resin. Going to be just a little over two and a half per coaster. And I'll, I guess I can do my little heart this time too. So I do have a little bit left. I'm not going to use it just because, uh, you know, don't, I don't want to forget that I've got like crushed glass. I've got all this other stuff in there that's going to take up space too. Uh, so I don't want to fill these up all the way or too high. And all I have to do now is just let these start to set up. I'll go ahead and uh, use my torch to pop some bubbles. Uh, you can see right there where the ring light shows. Those are all bubbles, that texture. 
And um, yeah, so similar to the gold and black, I've got different glitters here. I've got two different shades of purple of crushed glass. Um, I have the PBO uh, Prisme Fantasy liquid that creates that crackly effect like that right there. Um, I also found these, so oh, also I have washi tape, which I also used here and there, um, but I found these really pretty uh, petals. They're washi tape petals, and you, you know, just kind of put them together to where they form a flower. So I have this purple flower, and then I've got this one. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to use all of these products because these, then that would just, you know, be like, you know, way too much, <laughs> uh, way too much going on. So I'm going to have to narrow it down, even though I love all the sparkles and the flowers, I will have to narrow it down. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course I can always make some more and use what I didn't use on these. So, uh, lastly, I also have the PBO liner this time. I think I'm going to go with pearl. Um, just because I did gold already and kind of want to do something a little different. Uh, so yeah, I'll use the pearl liner and yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and start, uh, popping some bubbles and then we'll just wait for this to, uh, to set up so that I can add all of the, the washi tape and glitters and whatnot onto it without it sinking. All right, y'all, so while we wait for uh, the resin to start to set up, I just wanted to show you some of these pendants that I had made. Uh, I actually made them a couple of weeks ago. I haven't posted them on my Etsy shop. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh, come on, focus. It wants to focus on the background, so there we go. So I, uh, you know, I really, really love these pendants. I actually kept one for myself. And there's different shapes. Um, sorry about my voice, man. I don't know what's wrong with it. <clears throat> so yes, I love the colors, love all of the different shapes. In love, adore these pendants. The one that I wear, I get so many compliments on it. But the reason I, I wanted to show you is because I, um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to post these for sale on my shop or if I should just give these out um, with some larger orders. Now these were a little time consuming to make, so it would have to be a pretty good order to get this for free. Um, but let me know what you all think. Is this something you would want to buy, just you know buy, or would you rather place like a large order and then get this as a little freebie? What do you think? Let me know so that I know whether I should even post them or not. All right, y'all, so I'm not ready to, uh, it's, I just poured it, um, you know, maybe an hour ago, so it's not set yet, but there has clearly been an interesting <laughs> development. This is gray. This is gray. It is not the purple color when I poured it. It is not even a little purple. It is gray. I have no idea why it changed colors. Um, all I did was mix the, the casting craft white paste that I use all the time with some purple powder. Maybe it's the purple powder. I don't know, but it's gray. So, uh, Resin's expensive, y'all, so I really don't want to toss this. Um, so I'm just going to have to make this work and put lots of purple sparkles and, and, and flowers and whatnot to try to make this, you know, salvage this project. Um, you know, actual purple stuff that is not going to turn gray. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I am gonna go have some wine and you know pout a little bit and then come back and try to make this look pretty nonetheless but yeah so I just wanted to show y'all this is the exact same resin that I poured an hour ago that is now gray 
All right, y'all, so <laughs> here is where we're at. I could not, no, no, just no. This is like almost a green gray color. It is not cute, I do not like it, and I don't know what kind of joke the universe is playing, but I will not accept it. So <laughs> this is what I did. I poured, or I didn't pour, I added seven drops of alcohol ink, purple alcohol ink to each coaster, and I'm just going in and mixing it up, really trying not to scrape the, the mold too hard or anything because I don't want to scratch it and ruin it. But this is not cute. This is not a pretty color. If it's going to be gray, you know, at least be a little bit of a purpley gray, not this weird greenish gray that it's not going to look nice. So I do not accept this color. <laughs> and I know I said I would try to make it work, but no, this is how I will make it work this way. <laughs> so I am just going to mix the alcohol ink into this ugly green gray color until it gets this you know nicer kind of purpley tint i added three drops to the little heart that's why it was it was too much i probably should have just done two but you know it's a freebie anyway it's not it doesn't have to exactly match the coasters but yeah uh yeah just can you believe that how did it turn that color I'm still at a loss. I don't know what happened. So this is how we're fixing it. We are going to get our purple color, okay? We're getting purple. All right, there. So, <laughs> uh... Is this going to stay? I don't know. We will see, but I'm just going to go in. Obviously, I, I brought up several bubbles with that mixing. I'm just going to go in and pop them. Um, please keep your fingers crossed that this does not change colors. It's already pretty thick that you could, you know, you could see it in the video. It's, it's, it's very thick now, so it's probably not going to be much longer before it's too thick for me to try to do that again. So I need it to stay this color and work for me. So I'm just going to go in, pop the bubbles, and then we will be back once I am finally ready to add all of this extra stuff. And again, keep your fingers crossed that this does not change into some weird, ugly green gray color again. All right, y'all. So we are back and our purple stayed purple this time. But just so I can show you... Um, I had that little bit of resin left over when I poured these and I went ahead and used it in my pyramid mold. Uh, look <laughs> at that color difference. This is the purple that I initially poured into these coasters. This was just the leftover resin. Look at that color. It's practically green now. That is very weird. I don't know why that happened. But we, it's okay, we got it purple. You can see there are some streaks. Um, I'll bring you in closer. So there, there's kind of streaks throughout. I'm not upset with that. That's okay because I think it gives it kind of like a marbled look. I just don't like these really uh, thick, dark spots. But that's kind of the beauty with these coasters is that you can kind of cover up some of the spots that you don't like. And... The pups are, you know, getting on each other's nerves back there. So, <laughs> sorry about that. All right, so I am going to do one coaster first, show you how I do one coaster, and then I'll do the rest kind of off camera. Just take this to another room where it's not so, so hot. Um, but yeah, every coaster is going to be a little bit different because I can just do placements of, of the glitter and, and the washi tape in different spots. And. I like to start off with the washi tape first. So this one we can go ahead and put it kind of here over that really strong line. And then I'll cut it with uh, the X-Acto knife 
I'm I'm really on the edge of the resin. I'm not cutting into the mold. You don't want to cut into your your mold because then it's there forever. Okay. So there's one. Cover that back up. Don't want that to slip and, and cut yourself. Um, let's see. The next step is going to be to go in with the PBO uh, outliner. And this time I'm using pearl. Last time I used gold. Um, I'm running low on the gold, so I thought I would switch it up and, and go with pearl. And I'm just, for, for this one, I'm just going to go right along the edges of this washi tape. And then I'll start making other lines where I want to do like the glitters, um, the Prisme Fantasy, whatever I want to do. Alright, so there is our outline of the washi tape. Um... I have really shaky hands, so it's a little hard for me to get them to be really straight, but as, as long as you just follow the line of the washi tape, you should be good. Um, and then when you're doing your other lines, uh, if you're just scared that you're not going to be able to keep it straight, just, you know, do the, <laughs> do the easy, take the easy way out and just do squiggles. Sometimes that's what I do. That's what I did, you know, over here. So um, I think for this one, though, I might try to keep it straight. And so when I do that, um, I just try to kind of keep this other line as a reference. So let's, let's see what I can do. All right, so again, not too bad. And you know, these are handmade. They're not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna have perfectly straight even lines it's just you know it's just not possible when everything's handmade but that's part of the appeal not everything looks exactly the same it doesn't look manufactured it looks handmade made this space a little thicker because I'm I think this is where I want to use my my washi petals uh, so I want to be able to see more of that so I want that one to be thicker also to cover up this area right here that I don't really like all right so there we go there is the first one um these little space some of this is gonna I'm not gonna put anything I'm gonna leave it the purple base color um, other spots I will put crushed glass or I'll put glitter I might put some of this uh, Prisma fantasy I may not just because um again I don't want it to be too busy so I I'm gonna have to really think about what I want to place where but that's really it uh, I now have to let the the outliner uh, dry for a couple of hours otherwise if I try to put any of this in it's gonna it's still wet so it's just gonna smear and yeah I'll go ahead and do the placement on the rest of my coasters and I will meet y'all back here once we are ready to start making things pretty and shiny and sparkly all right y'all so we're back it's um not the next day I think it's actually a day later um, but you can see the outliner is dried and you can also see, you know, I'm not perfectly straight. That's okay though. These are handmade. Um, so yeah, we are ready to start putting all the, the pretty decorating stuff on here, decorations. Um, I've got my two washi tape petals. I have the PBO, uh, liquid that makes that crackling effect. I may or may not use it, still not decided yet. And then I've got some glitters. I decided to put the crushed glass away because uh, I feel like the chunkier glitters, like this one, which I, I do want to use, give a very similar look to the crushed glass. And I just, I want to use this one, so that's what I'm going to go with. I also found a little, you know, freebie sample of some fine purple glitter. And 
I, if I'm gonna use a chunky glitter or a crushed glass, I try to go with a fine glitter so that it has a different look. Um, but again, it's just a freebie. I don't have any purple fine glitter. I've ordered some, but it's not here yet. It ships, Lurisi ships from overseas, so it takes a couple of weeks to get here. And then I've got this white kind of uh, holographic one that has different colors in different lighting. So um, again, it's another one. Not sure yet if I want to use it. I'm just going to go with the flow, see how I feel as I start doing this. Um, but we can go ahead and get started. So I will start first with the washi tape petals. And again, I'm just going to go, I'm going to do one. I'll film one and then do the rest off camera just because it's, you know, it's pretty time consuming. Um, they look great, but they do take a while to finish up. So you can see it's just one individual petal that I'll pull off. There's one petal and then you'll pull off as many as you need. So here's another one. And one more. So I've got three petals. And from there, you can just put the centers together. You'll overlap them as much as you want or as little as you want, just depending on the effect that you are going for, if you want them to be uh, closer together or farther apart. This is generally how I like to how close I like to put them, just overlapping a little bit. But you can see that kind of looks like half a flower right there. And so for this one, I'll put it in the center more and zoom you in. So for this one, I really want to cover up this dark streak of purple from the, uh, out the alcohol ink. And what I'll do is place the petals to where it covers it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more petal because I could see some space under there. All right, so now we've got four petals. <clears throat> and we will do, 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 strategically place these <laughs> to where it covers up that that dark purple spot. Okay, and just press it down so that it's really adhering to the base resin. And you can see it's covering my white line. And we're just gonna go in with our uh, X-Acto knife and trim that off. And that's why I kind of like to press it onto the line, the outliner, so that I have that edge to follow. And there we go. We've got our, our outliner back. So again, very, very simple, just a little time consuming. So now I'm gonna try, uh, these are new petals that I've not tried before, so we'll see how they look. All right, so there's two of those petals. And I guess they're gonna be pretty similar in the placement. Um, I had the container that showed what they would look like, but I may have, I may have tossed it. So uh, we'll just go ahead and place them together. And we're gonna go like this. Okay, so there's our four petals, and you can do as many petals as you want. Um, oh, this one came off. Oh, they're coming off, y'all. So I will say they're not as um, sticky as these are. They're coming apart. Hopefully we can just work with these to get them on here 
and you'll just kind of want to figure out how you want to place it. So there's our second one. Not quite as visible, uh, cause I guess the color's pretty similar to this base color of resin, but it's there, it's different, so. Um, and then I'll probably put some of these pinker petals kind of right here to take up that blank space. All right, so there we go. There are our flowers for the first one. And then, if, you know, on these other ones, um, you know, if you wanted to do all of the pink ones, all of these, just, you know, the, the world is your oyster. Do them however you want to do them. That's what I really like about these is that you can customize them in so many different ways and really get what you want. So we'll go ahead and start with our glitters now. And I'm just gonna pour all of this sample into one of my cups because I'm pretty sure that I will end up using all of it. If not, um, you know, hey, I've got some more coming. So <laughs> um, hopefully I have enough for this project though. And I may just kind of go in these very thin lines with this glitter just to not, you know, I don't want to use it in this big thing and then I run out on the first coaster. All right, got the Dura Clear Satin Varnish. This dries clear, so that's why I like to use it. It does look uh, like kind of a milky color when you first add it like that, but it dries clear. And I'm going to go with a pretty thin brush. Um, really can't even see it because like I said I'm gonna try to stick to these thinner lines to get the most out of this glitter there's kind of a fine balance that you have to get with the glitter as far as you don't want it too thick because then you can't it's you can't spread it very easily it's kind of hard it just comes off in like globs but you also don't want it so runny that you can't control where you're placing it. So we'll try this. You can see it's kind of runny. And um, I can't really add more glitter if it's too runny though. <laughs> so if it's too thick though, then I can at least add more of the varnish. But we'll try this for now. So there's our thin line of glitter. Kind of hard to see, but it, it looks really pretty in person, very shiny. And then we'll go in with our chunkier glitter. See, now that's gonna be way too thick. See how it like doesn't even move? It's not gonna move on the coasters either. So again, that's about the consistency that I look for. How runny I like for it to be. Um, but if you prefer a different consistency, just either add more glitter or less varnish. So there's our chunky glitter and you can kind of see what I mean as far as it giving that a very similar look to crushed glass. It looks rocky in my opinion. So um, that's why I, I try to use one or the other. I When I made the pink ones that I said I couldn't use, I had to toss them because they stuck together. I did a chunky glitter and the crushed glass and I kind of regretted it because I was like, they, they look almost the exact same and I want different textures, you know? All right, so I'm trying to think what else I want to do because I want to leave some 
you know, base color in there. I don't want to fill up every single line. So I can, I'm thinking maybe here. Yeah, I think it would have to be here that I can add some of the PBO liquid. And I'm just pouring some of it in a little cup so that I don't have to keep the bottle open. So here's what it looks like. And we'll just brush some in this space. And I have learned that it tends to give that crackling effect with kind of a thicker layer if it's too thin. Um, it, it doesn't really do much. It fades out a little bit, but it doesn't really get the crackling in there. And that's what I want. Alright, so this brush is a little frayed, um, so I didn't have precise placement. I got some on the liner, but I'm just going to go in here with my non-existent nails and, and wipe that off. All right. What do we think? I kind of want to add some more of the purple glitter here, the fine glitter, but I also want to make sure that I have enough for the other three coasters. So I'll wait on that. Um, if I do have enough, if I have some left over, then I can maybe go into some of these other small sections and add more. But that's going to be it for this first coaster. Um, just trying to wipe off some of that glitter. All right, so yeah, that's going to be it for the first coaster. Uh, and then I am going to go finish up the rest of these. It's going to be the same process of just adding some petals and adding the different uh, glitters and, and effects in the other sections. And I will meet y'all back here once I have finished those up. All right, y'all, so we are back. And I've got all of my coasters with the designs on them. And I know I said before that I wanted to keep these not so busy. Um, I couldn't help myself, though, and I added this that white holographic glitter. Let me grab it for you. So it was this one. That I was like, I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not. Well, I used it. <laughs> I just cut. I can't help myself, y'all. I, I love glitter so much. So, what I ended up doing was I outlined the petals with the liner, just a really thin outline, and then added that white glitter in the empty space. So that's what we've got, and I like them. So I mean, I don't regret adding that extra glitter. <laughs> Um, but speaking of glitter, I got one of my, I had two recent orders from Larissi, um, which they have tons and tons and tons of glitters. And one of the orders got here today and look, one of the free freebies that I got, they gave me four free ones. And I know these are free because it said gift. I actually was like, did I order these or did I not? Because <laughs> I ordered so many, but wouldn't that have been like a really good one? for this purple, but it's all right. I really like how these turned out, so I don't, you know, I, I'm fine. I don't think I had to change anything. Oh, and then I got this other one. This one I actually did purchase. It's a bigger bag. This is the two ounce bag, and you can see that's a lot of glitter. Gonna last a long time. So again, that would have looked nice too. And then here are some of the other ones I got. I got a lot. So <laughs> this is like a greenish gold color. Got a like a champagne gold. I think this one might be called sand gold. We've got, I think this is hazy pink. And then I accidentally ordered two of this shade. I guess I was just, you know, so excited. I didn't realize I got two. <laughs> We've got another like a pink gold. I got a few shades of green because I was like, I don't have very many green glitters. I've got a white, this bright orange, and this like orangey bronze color. So I'm so excited. I have some more coming. And yeah, we'll get to use all of these in all of my projects. All right. So, oops. 
Next, we've got our clear resin that we're gonna use for our top coat on our coasters and my little heart. You can see I added some petals and some glitter to that as well. And we'll just go ahead and pour this on there. I mixed up eight ounces, so they'll get, you know, about two ounces each minus the little bit that I put in the heart, which I will go ahead and do just so that I don't run out. So, memo to myself, next time I need to make sure that I, uh, like blow some air on this or something uh, before putting my top coat on because I'm seeing some of the glitter that is loose is kind of spreading around so I'm trying to pick that out as much as I can. I, I do like to do kind of a, I call it a squat test, uh, where I just squat down and get eye level with the counter um, to see uh, which which ones need a little more, making sure they're they're all pretty even. So they are all full and now it's time to Pop the bubble! Pop the bubble! All right, so it's all poured in. All we need to do now is just wait for the top coat to harden and then I can pop them out of here and add uh, a trimming. I think I'm probably going to go with silver since I used that pearl uh, liner. And I will continue to kind of check on this and pop bubbles as needed because when you have all of the glitter, um, it just creates little spaces where air pockets form and then come up to the top later. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to continue to to check on these and pop some bubbles. And once it's cured, we can go ahead and add that trimming and post these for sale. So we'll see the final product and I'll give you a close up once uh, these, are, these are fully hardened. All right, so we are back. The top coat has cured nice and hard now. Um, and I've already gone ahead and sanded down the edges on this coaster. So you can go ahead and get a closer look. Lots of texture, lots of colors, patterns. So, love them, very happy with them. I just wanted to show, so when there's a really tiny lip, it's a little bit of stuff poking out, you can see right there. Um, you can actually feel it. I like to feel it just because some of these edges are just very slightly uh, sharp, and so you can't really see it all that well. But I will go in with just a nail file, an emery board, and give it a quick little file. If it's got a lot of overflow, I do use a Dremel um, because it, it, otherwise it would take forever with this little thing. But if it's just, I want to make sure that the edges are not sharp, I go in with a nail file and just sand down those edges until I don't feel anything sharp anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of the coasters, and then they'll be ready for that silver edging. All right, gonna go wash my hands, get all of this dust off, wipe these off as well, and then, um, I will be back and we can do our silver silver trimming on these and make them look all finished up, nice and purdy. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my coasters all sanded down, hands are washed, areas wiped off as well. I'm gonna go in with my uh, Deco, Pre Deco Color Premium Paint Marker. What I like about this one is that it's, um, 
it's oil based so it doesn't just wash off super easily but I also like this brand because it's so shiny I have some other um, markers that uh, they they have more of like a a matte finish and I, I, I like shiny, you know, obviously I like shiny. <laughs> All right, so this one's new. You can see the tip is completely white. There's no color in there yet. Uh, so what you have to do is shake it up. You hear that paint getting mixed up and then press the pen. This is just a, a paper towel. Press the pen until the paint starts to come out. So you see that nib it just goes in all right so we've got some paint coming out and now you can see that the nib is silver um, so yeah like I was saying I like that this one is oil based because that, that helps it to stay on it doesn't um, wash off very easily however I will say that it, um, oil does remove it so sometimes I get it on my hands and it won't wash off if it dries so what I'll do is just kind of put on some lotion or a hand oil like the lavender oil and then wash my hands and it'll come off So that's it. That's all I have to do for the top part. Now I will go ahead and line the sides as well just because we've got some uh, from, you know, like brushing the, the glitter and stuff onto the, the mold on the sides. So I will go ahead and paint those as well. But that's that's it. That's all you have to do at this point is just get your marker and go around and then they are fully finished once it dries and you can you can decide how much or how little of an edging you want if you want more you're obviously going to put more of the nib on there so I go about halfway on the top if you want it thicker, you'll just, you know, kind of put more, put it fully on the top. If you want less, you'll just barely have it on the top. So that is all I'm going to do. I'll do it to my little heart as well. And I will see y'all next time. It is officially September and I love Halloween. It is absolutely my favorite holiday. So I am thinking some jack-o'-lantern coasters. What do y'all think? That's going to be my next project. I'm very excited. Get to, you know, make the different faces. But I will see y'all next time for that video. I hope you join and you'll watch and, and I hope you like my jack-o'-lantern coasters as well. I hope you like these coasters. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time.